Now this is the uh, second of three videos that we're showing on choosing colors for your quilt. We, the previous video was on values. This is on uh, variance in the texture in your fabrics. Now of course they're all cottons, right? So we're not talking about fur versus leather. We're talking about the sh shape and size of the prints and to vary those and I think this video will really help you understand that principle and really help you in choosing fabrics. Now you can see in this little deck has a very busy busy background and a smaller scale for the duck that that's nice but look how busy the duck is really competes with the busy background still good value the duck is a lot lighter, higher scale, and yet it's not working, is it? Here's another example. Um, good contrast in the value could be stronger. However, the yellow is bright enough and light enough that it would work except for the busyness of the patterns. There's no place for your eye to rest, and so design-wise, this is uh, a lot of noise as well in the brightness and the busyness of the pattern. There's no, there's no change in texture. So you want to, along with the value change, you also need a change in the texture in the fabrics, meaning the prints. Now this little deck has a little more going for it. It still has quite bright polka dots, not a lot of contrast in the yellow and the white, and so that's working. And then your background, also with a theme of bugs, is kind of fun, because that's out in nature, right? So that's fun. But notice the scale of the designs in your fabric. These have uh, are busier, more to look at, where this is pretty simple, generic little polka dots, which help. Now, normally, this busy of a background would come forward, and it does somewhat, but because it's blue, it will go back where the warmer color comes forward. So this little duck is working well with the scale of the design in the fabric. Now, an easy way to work with this idea is by using solids. This little monkey has a little, it's not exactly a solid, it has a little bit of variance in the color, but it reads as a solid. Um, and that gives your place an eye to rest because of the busyness of this theme fabric. Um, the simple design in the monkey helps the monkey um, to pop. Here, the elephant being gray would be um, a pretty blah design, but that's kind of what an elephant is, and so we've used the bright green that really helps contrast the gray. So even though they're both technically solids, they, uh, because of the intensity of the green, but it's a, it's a cooler color, it will still go backwards. It's a nice medium scale, so the elephant being lighter, there's good contrast there. So that's a great example of what to do with the scale in the fabric. The zebra, of course, has to read zebra. So we've got a zebra fabric, which is very busy. And that helps out using a simple background, helps the zebra to not be too busy. So I hope well. this video has helped explain basic principles of how to vary the prints so that you have uh, a lot to look at but still a place to rest your eyes and also how lights darks work and how cooler colors recede and uh, just have fun with it don't be nervous about it but just keep in mind these principles